It is uh, 7.15. This is 95.7 KJR-FM. Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. Let me grab a quick phone call, Angela, if you don't mind, and then we'll... No, uh, go ahead. It's Joe, I believe. Uh, well, I don't know for sure. Hello. Hey, Pat. This is Joe from the East Side. Joe before from the East Side. You... Good morning. Good morning, sir. And before you leave, are you ever going to discover what Angela's tattoo says, or is that going to remain a secret forever? It's still a mystery. Uh, you, no. you, you have a tattoo. We've established yeah. that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you won't tell us where it's located. No. Nope. Or even what it says. Right. Huh. Oh, well. Thanks, anyhow. All right, Joe. Sorry to let you down. I, uh, you know, seriously, uh, I I have been curious about this, too. Um, would this be my last day and everything? I don't know. Where is your tattoo? All right, Andrew? here. Look. God, See? that must have hurt. Oh, man. I know why I keep it such a secret. Don't you? I can't believe it. In Kirkland. <laughs> you had like a day that's just kind of like, you know, been a tough one. You know, something that you can turn on and makes you feel good. It's Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. Oh, yeah. Pat Bent guitar, hit me with your best shot. It's 722 and a half. This is 95.7 KJRFM, Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. Uh, Pat Cashman here with Angela Kirby. This is uh, the end of the line for me. Oh, that sounds pretty dramatic. That sounds doesn't? ominous. Yeah. Not yet, no. Sounds like a scene from the Green Mile, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. See you later, kid. More power to you. Well, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, as I characterized it uh, earlier this morning, uh, I've just, uh, I've been riding uh, this bus, this KJRFM bus, but um, that's my stop right over there. So I'm going to get off and the bus will keep going, and I'll try to remember to, I hope the bus will slow down, you know, so I can just get me right too. off. Me too. I don't want you to be injured. And i got to remember not to walk around the front of it so it doesn't roll over me too. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, moving on to uh, do some other things. I've had a wonderful time here. People have been so great ab uh, about everything. So it has been a lot of fun. But it's time to, uh, you know, take some lozenges and grab some sleep. I haven't slept in about 12 years. I believe that's a record. So uh, I'm going to grab some, uh, even an hour would be good, mm -hmm. you know, just as a start. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever had a hiatus from uh, from early morning radio, Angela, but you will, you know, I know that I will pop awake at about the same time I have been popping away. <laughs> and it takes, it'll take a while, you know. You, oh, yeah. Uh, you finally uh, get back to uh, wh whatever a normal schedule is, uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. The big climb for leukemia is coming up on Sunday, and uh, I'm going to be there for that, too at the Bank of America Tower. And if you want to take part in it or just come and hang out and support those who are climbing, you can find out more about it on our website at 957kjrfm.com. You're going to go there, right? Oh, I'm going to climb every single one of those 69 yeah. flights. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to climb every mountain until I find my dream. Based on 24-hour dose of pseudoephedrine. It's 29 minutes past 7 o'clock. KJR-FM, Stephen Kilbreth now with news headlines. Brought to you this time around by Hyundai. Thanks, Pat. A man has been shot and his body left in the middle of an intersection near SeaTac Airport. Police have closed off that intersection, 8th Avenue and Des Moines Memorial Drive. And the Sonics have a home game tonight against Orlando. Some clouds and a chance of showers. Highs will be in the middle 50s. With KJR-FM News Headlines, I'm Stephen Kilbreth. Now Angela Kirby takes a look at the traffic. Many of our roadways are doing well. We're lucky that Friday mornings are pretty quiet for traffic in a lot of areas. Traction. This look at traffic, a courtesy of the people at Wells Fargo. Look for a smart tax solution at Wells Fargo. It's 7.30 KJRFM traffic time. KJR Seattle, channel 95.7.
living in the Northwest and rock and roll's greatest hits on the radio. Does it get any better? 95.7 KJR FM. This is Charlie Brown, and you're listening to Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. KJR FM is about music. The day just gets much better. It's like a massage. The best music ever made. On music, you know the words to a lot of it. It's Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. 95.7 KJR FM. It is 7.38. I'm Pat Cashman, and I want to tell you about uh, Netflix. Have you heard about this? I bet you have by now. Netflix delivers movies to you at your fingertips. And they let you rent DVDs online, so you don't have to go into the video store anymore. You just uh, you, you hook up with Netflix.com. It costs you $17.99 a month, but you can rent in an unlimited fashion after that. So, I mean, you could, you could rent uh, 100 movies a month or whatever. So the seventeen ninety nine is chump change when you think of it that way. But it's fast. You get your DVDs in about a business day. There's no late fees ever because you can keep the movies as long as you want. Three out at a time. You watch them. You send one back. They send you a new one. It's just great. And there's no commitments either. You can cancel any time. And here's another thing. You can try it now for free to see how great it is. You'll never go back to the old way, I'll bet, of renting movies again. So here's the deal. Go to Netflix.com, that's N-E-T-F-L-I-X.com, and look for the free trial offer, and uh, you'll see for yourself that this is the way to go. It's Netflix.com. I'd urge you to sign up today. It's 740. This is 95.7 KJR-FM, Pat Cashman Show, uh, the last Pat Cashman Show on uh, this station, and uh, let me grab a call here. Hello. Pat, I wanted to tell you that I have been a fan of yours since the days of Almost Live. And now that you're wow. leaving radio, I don't know how I'm going to get my cash man fixed. How am I going to do that? Well, it comes in pill form. <laughs> and uh, the less appealing suppository form as well. <laughs> try, try Rite Aid. I think they're carrying it now. Oh, okay. Well, that's very sweet of you. Thank you for those nice words. You're very welcome, and I just want to wish you good luck in whatever you do. Thank you, and, and, and I, hope... I want to wish you the same. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. KJR Seattle, channel 95.7. An upbeat, positive attitude for the day keeps the day going. It's rock and roll's greatest hit. It is uh, 749 and a half, and that is, of course, Fleetwood Mac. This is 95.7 KJRFM, rock and roll's greatest hits. Angela Kirby here, too. Um, Angela, can you tell people a little bit about this uh, uh, big climb thing coming up on Sunday? I've got to walk over here and right. get something ready for Oh, something. sure. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you still have registered, you still can on the day of the event. It's Sunday at the Bank of America Tower, 5th and James. It's the big climb for leukemia and lymphoma. It's only 69 flights. Come on, everybody. Join in the fun. There will be snacks and stuff, and they give people T-shirts that register. I think they're registering people that aren't registered yet between 1030 and 11 o'clock this Sunday. So come and join the fun and raise a little money. The big climb for leukemia and lymphoma this Sunday. Yeah, and I'm going to be there, too. Uh, oh, good. In fact, uh, although otherwise, this is my, uh, my uh, swan song here on KJRFM. Uh, as I, we mentioned the uh, early part of the week, uh, this is, I'm going to wrap it up today. Uh, my vol my own volition this time. How about that for a change? And uh, just going to go out and try and do some things with uh, my uh, my fledgling business that I've always wanted to do. I, um, I, I I think everybody should try should try to run their own business sometime in their life. Could be a miserable flop, but you'll never know. You will always wonder. 
gee, I wonder how things might have worked if I'd. Well, it, it, and you know, if you if you hate the boss, well, then that's self-loathing, and then you'll have to deal with that. But uh, I can't. Uh, I just can't uh, let the opportunity go by. So that's that's why I'm heading out the door. But I've had a wonderful time here. And uh, and especially with you, Angela. That's Thanks. Been, you've been here for a bit, a bit a over year. a year, actually, in the studio. Yeah. And uh, you will still be here come Monday. Yeah. Correct? Alone. <laughs> You'll never be alone. Alone. It, Talking it, to myself. If somebody's listening, you're not alone, okay? Oh, okay. One of uh, the people who called the show from time to time was uh, a man named Ray. Ray is in Furcrest, and... Uh, well, here was a typical call, as if anything about Ray could be typical, from uh, sometime last year. Uh, how are you? I'm swell. Okay. Ing. I uh, I got in a, a, a voice impression for you here. Okay. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, we are on the line with Ray, the man of a thousand, no, maybe a million voices. Okay. I, I... I have the theme from the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right. The theme from the good, the bad, and the, and what was the last part? Ugly. Ugly. Okay. Here's Ray, the man of a thousand voices. How was that? Uh, <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Now you're a mind reader. When you're on your computer, Evergreen Ford, exit 15, I-90, Issaquah. It's 7.56. This is 95.7 KJRFM. I'm Pat Cashman, and uh, guess what? Stephen Kilbreth is uh, around, too. He's got the news of uh, this hour for you. Brought to you this time around by Qualstar credit union. Stephen. Thanks, Pat. A number of bills have already died in the legislature, but those still alive include a proposal to adopt California's stricter limits on car admissions. That will help you at tax time. Wells Fargo, the next stage. 95.7 KJR FM. Seattle. Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. 95.7 KJRFM. Steppenwolf on 95.7 KJRFM, Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. Pat Cashman here with Angela Kirby on uh, this, my uh, my final go-around here. I'm going to uh, move on to uh, some other activities that have got me very excited. But I uh, I love radio, and uh, I, I loved it ever since I was a little kid doing fake radio programs. Very much like this fake radio program. <laughs> In my uh, in my room, in my bedroom as a kid, I had a record player and I'd play the hits and uh, and and then there was a period of time where I actually set up my record player down in. We had a basement in our house and there was a crawl space in there where the furnace was located. Mm -hmm. So I'd set up my uh, run along extension cord and set my record player there and put it against uh, the 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 furnace grating. That essentially then I could broadcast throughout the house from there. Every, nice. every, every furnace, every right. you know, vent Through in the, the house. And I'd make my brothers, they'd have to put their ear down uh, in various rooms of the house. And I would force them to listen to my radio program. I would give them candy if they would listen to it. Nice. Yeah. But it finally occurred, I think, to people that, uh, hey, you know, if, if Cashman's not bringing us candy, then, then uh, you know, what, what, what are we listening for? Well, for those who did, thank you just the same. It's been a lot of fun here. 